Well, hello and welcome to day two of driving this vehicle to the Netherlands. I'm not going to film too much today. Uh, it's probably going to be very boring. I'm mostly driving along the motorway um, all the way up from here in North Lincolnshire. Uh, we're on the M180 at the moment. Uh, then uh, I think it's M18, then M1, and or is it A1? It, it's a lot of motorway uh, before we start going along the A120, which is hopeless and quite a lot not a dual carriageway uh, the road to Harwich is a fairly painful one despite the fact it's a major port there is something big over there down the v DS420 going down the other way a uh, big limousine um, I've distracted myself with that now but yeah it's been a very good morning uh, driven a Vauxhall Astra Mark 3 and uh, something else and I uh, look forward to sharing something else with you. The something else is to mark 90,000 subs. So please do hit that subscribe button. We can get there. And uh, then I will reveal all. But uh, it's good to have these things recorded ahead of time. Uh, but I'm, I'm going to... It's about 3 hours 46 to get there. So I'm probably going to do a couple of hours. It's quarter to three in the afternoon. Now it's been quite a long day of filming. Uh, so I'm probably going to do a couple of hours. Stop for food and then um, do another couple of hours to my hotel then nine o'clock tomorrow morning we're on the ferry and uh, then uh, yeah that's gonna be exciting so hopefully the ferry will be the most part of this because otherwise it's just boring driving along uh, I, don't, I haven't seen any comments from the first video yet because I haven't managed to upload it yet so uh, hopefully at some point in this trip the videos will be out and you can leave comments I can respond to so if you've got any questions about the Netherlands uh, do ask them and I'll try and answer them in a future video but uh, for now I'm just gonna keep driving I've just stopped um, and parked very badly uh, here at Mark and Moore services on the A1 uh, it's a remarkable building uh, uh, as you can see I'm just gonna have a walk around Mark and Moore services originally a petrol station it was converted into a little chef in the late 1980s uh, a roadside eatery if you're not from the UK but uh, the uh, little chef folded 2012 they kind of packed it all in but uh, this building has been preserved the canopy has been listed and Starbucks for all their faults have taken it on and turned it into a place to get a rather nice cup of tea well right next to the A1 uh, but fearsomely loud but uh, it's the first time I've ever stopped here I've driven past so many times just a remarkable structure dates back to the 1960s well that, that, that's frankly enough of that let's skip forward to Harwich it's gonna be a boring drive I've got tea I'm gonna stop for food somewhere unremarkable and then uh, boat we made it to Harwich uh, this is my luxurious room uh, it probably doesn't look too bad there, but uh, this is the bathroom where uh, we have a piece of paper as a bath mat. That's quality. And the biggest tap in the world fitted to the sink. What's that all about? Ooh, and uh, the LED lights in here are apparently doing very strange things to the camera refresh rate. Uh, it was a bit peculiar trying to get in here. There's an intercom, which doesn't work, but there's a second button. Eventually some bloke just went, hello. And... Um, Eventually I managed to get in and, and then there was no one on reception. So that was great. Uh, eventually someone turns up at reception, but then there's a problem going on with some of the guests card and oh, phew. anyway, we're in and there are positives. There's a PowerPoint right next to the bed. Amazing how many hotels don't have that. So I'm there trying to edit my videos. Uh, this one's uploading at the moment on the fairly slow internet, but it is uploading. So the reason this video wasn't out the night previously is because it's still sat there uploading and uh, we are now half past eight at night so that's too late to be going live well it's really nice and peaceful here apart from the shady people who keep walking past uh, Bella de Bolingo you can see over there in the car park and next to some very faded old buildings actually you can just see the sea look there's the sea over there that's the North Sea we'll be crossing that tomorrow so uh, we have now gone coast to coast uh, in our trek. Uh, we're over 450 miles for the trip 
and only just below half a tank of fuel. And that brings me to a dilemma. Do I refuel now because fuel's even more expensive in the Netherlands? Well, I'm, I'm told it's around 234 euros per um, litre and it's 199 pounds here. And really, I'm not sure there's much in it. I think I'm going to just go for it because I want to see how far I can go on this tank of fuel. Uh, we're up to, you know, almost 500 miles with um, just under half a tank. So I think there's a lot more to get. I'm, can I get 60 miles to the gallon? That's what I'm kind of hoping for. But yeah, I'm going to settle in. I've got my grapes, I've got my fruit juice. Um, so I can pretend I'm healthy and I didn't just have a really delicious stone baked pizza for dinner on the way. Video is uploading and uh, uh, I will start editing the second bit, but now we're only halfway. So um, cut to tomorrow and we're on a boat. Well, good morning. We have made it to Harwich. There is our ferry. Uh, we are all set for the off. Uh, very exciting. I oh, passed that Volkswagen LT on the A1 yesterday. I'm not sure what's going on with the Nissan Micra. i uh, go and have a quick look once uh, I avoid being run over by this Mercedes-Benz. But uh, yeah, interesting mix of vehicles. Are they off on a banger rally somewhere? King Edward the Sixth School. Uh, they're certainly packed for an adventure. But yeah, this Volkswagen LT is this uh, lovely colour. So uh, I wonder where they're going. I wonder where they've been. Well, I guess they're heading back to Germany, probably the thinking. But uh, yeah, to think three years ago, I was parked right here. Actually, I think I was a bit further back uh, in Italy, the 2CV waiting to go to Croatia. Wow. Oh, there's a hubnut car. Mitsubishi Charisma, built at the Ned Car Factory in the Netherlands. Another vehicle spot in the queue, this Land Rover. Absolutely lovely. Oh, 200 TDI by the sound of it. Hmm. I don't care what you say, driving onto a boat is always exciting. It's a rather convoluted route to get to said boat. I know all the shipping people are going to be getting very upset with all this discussion of boats when it's a ship. Always oh, got massive pantograph wipers. Now, if we go on to Stena Hollandica. Here we go. Om nom nom, says the ship. Uh, vibration grooves. Well, I'm aboard. Happily watching the tug drivers at work. Love it. But yeah, we are, we are aboard. It's already really windy, so I hope the wind noise isn't causing too many issues. Uh, I, I love this. I forgot how steep the climb is from the car deck or auto deck uh, up here, but uh, yeah, we are. Uh, well, we're not soon to set sail. I don't think it's eight o'clock yet, but uh, yeah, we will be um, heading off before too long. Oh, look at that. There's a lovely crane down there with many, many wheels. Marvellous. I love cranes. Cranes and tugs. Life doesn't get any better. Uh, they are casting off. The main engines have fired. Hence the foam. Uh, there we go. And with that, we are underway. Never fails to be exciting, really. Over the other side of the river, we've got Shotley, which is where we went to the East Coast Retros meet. Uh, last year. Was that last year? Yeah, it was last year, wasn't it? Blimey. Time is flying. Heading along the river Stour before we go out to sea. We've got Felix Stowe docked over there. My mate Trigger, who organises that East Coast Retro meet, worked at Felix Stowe on those big cranes. I wonder if he's working today. Go. Our first view. Lots of boats. Right, lots and lots of boats on the horizon. There is the Netherlands. Kind of bathed in cloud, it kind of hugging the land. That's absolutely remarkable. Now we're filed down into the um, Dutch sunshine. It's a, a lovely day. In fact, I might need to go for my sunglasses which I'll probably have to take off when we go through passport control, but never mind. 
Okay, I'm going very slowly as so I've got time to actually dust them. Oddly, while, while I was um, standing on deck waiting to come out, there were two CVs everywhere uh, buzzing about here in um, Hoek van Holland. So uh, that was a bit peculiar. I wasn't expecting a welcoming committee. But we've got about an hour, um, maybe an hour and ten minutes uh, to, to get to where we're staying tonight. Uh, near my friends Ivan and Patrick. Oh, hello, is there a new lane opening up? Uh, interestingly, we seem to have been sent down goods to declare. Or uh, nothing to declare. Is that a good or a bad thing? That was a nightmare. It took like an hour to get out of um, the ferry port. There is the ferry. It's taken an hour to get to this point here. That was absolutely horrific. Very friendly chap um, on customs though. Had a good chat. But uh, yeah, We're gl glad to be off the boat. Glad to be on the road. Glad to be in the Netherlands. Very, very exciting. There's a Dutch train. Uh, I, d I did set the, the um, camera up on this window before realising I then can't actually wind this window down so that wasn't my smartest move ever and uh, on we go but yeah so good to be back and Bella's first adventure here in the Netherlands uh, first video went out today while I was on the ferry I didn't plan that very well did I because I had no Wi-Fi on the ferry at all uh, so I, was I, I had a little burst where I managed to catch up with some comments but basically I'm miles behind and uh, I do like to keep an eye on the comments uh, because you lot generally leave lovely comments and I like to see them and uh, react to them if I can. Not always possible, sometimes too many. Oh, Rolls Royce Silver Cloud, very nice. Oh, it is just so good to be back on the continent again. I find it so exciting. That flip to driving on the other side of the road is just, oh, it's just awesome. D Dutch people have been asking where they can meet me and uh, the only chance to meet me on this trip and uh, I appreciate this video will probably come out uh, with very little warning. Uh, it's going to be the uh, Sunday, uh, uh, Japan Classic Sunday in Heimert. I, I can't get the pronunciation right, um, apparently. Wh whatever I say, it's always wrong. Uh, G-E-M-E-R-T is where we will be for Japan Classic Sunday. Uh, you'll be very welcome to attend. You can only come in if you're in a Japanese car, but yeah, we delightful to see you there unfortunately I just haven't got time to do anything else I've um, set up some road tests while I'm over here so I just don't have spare time to set up a meeting where are we going here Hoiksbahn which way is that then is that down there I hope it's down there because I'm in this lane now what? why have you sent me this way Satnav this looks idiotic we're going that way it's brought me down here Oh yeah, I'm, I'm using Google Maps because I thought Google Maps might be better than Waze but uh, on the basis of that performance, no because this is a complete non-required journey to go all the way around this roundabout and then go down there to be behind, behind the same lorry as I was just behind that makes no sense at all this is the most baffling junction I've ever seen there's some quite lost looking Brits over there uh, I think they were behind me in the queue and had managed to flatten their battery. No amber, I forgot about that. Not very Dutch names. We've got Growers United there. Good food in good hands. Next to Nature's Pride. I do promise you I am actually in a foreign country where they have their own language. I may not look it, but I am. I uh, haven't filled up either. Now done 502 miles since refuelling. Uh, remember I refueled a little bit before setting off so I haven't yet done 500 miles on the trip but I will do by the time I get to where I'm going so at some point I'm gonna have to find fuel but I'm gonna worry about it today so I'm not gonna worry about it today you wouldn't think a country that uh, is so low down would really have tunnels but they do and they're quite impressive well, apologies for um, disappearing and having fun with friends, but we've had a really nice night, chatted a lot about cars since I arrived here. I'm now in Zega, um, which is not really near anywhere. It's a tiny village, um, quite a long way from everywhere. There's a main road goes fairly close, so I jumped off that and here we are. It's a very lush 
sort of an area. But yeah, tiny little village. I say that, it's a fairly big village. Let, let's say that. Um, it, it'd be small if you considered it a town. But yeah, this is where I'm going to be staying for the next three nights. So I'm glad I got a bit of space. This is the main lounge area, got a huge door. Opens up here if I want to go out on the patio. I don't have time to be honest, I've got so much to do. Little kitchenette area. We've got a Dayu microwave, which obviously pleases me very much. Uh, that was the same conglomerate for Dayu Motor sort of fell out of, but it is all linked. Uh, we've got fridge, um, there are tea facilities, mugs and things. Not proper tea, obviously. The fridge isn't even plugged in, I don't think. Um, sink, you know, telly, if you like that, air con, all my cons. Through here, we find the bathroom, which is lit both by these tiny things in the roof, tiny LEDs and these halogens above it, but yeah, really nice shower with seat. Uh, I can sit there and ponder my life choices while being drizzled on. A camp bed in here, chair, dresser, more air con. Oh, it's all amazing stuff. In fact, actually, I've just remembered I wasn't having a nose in this drawer earlier. Look at this old hair dryer. Gosh, that's, um, that looks proper 1970s. That does a bit Steph wants to own it. Steph of iDriver Classic. Uh, moving along to the bedroom, I will be in here. And uh, yeah, again, I've got a lovely big window. I've just opened it for a bit of ventilation. Got some reading lamps. I've got some tiny little lights up here as well in my roof space. Should I um, feel the need to feel like I'm in a cave illuminated only by bed bugs, not bed bugs, um, light bugs. Uh, we've got dimmer switch, which makes a lot of noise. Yeah, it's a really nice space. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, we'll be doing a lot more filming actually in the Netherlands. Obviously today has just been get here was the main mission and see my friends have a catch up. Uh, but now I need to edit this video that you're watching. Today is Friday night. Uh, I would like to have this video out on Saturday um, ahead of um, Japan Classic Sunday on Sunday. Um, it might take me a bit longer to actually get that report out. Lots of filming of uh, cars I'm going to be testing and uh, the event itself. So still lots to do, but really, really happy to be back in the Netherlands again. The land of itchy boots. Do check out her channel if you haven't already. She's currently in South America, in no, Central America, riding her motorbike to Alaska. Brave, brave lady. Uh, yeah, so I need to jump in the edit suite, charge stuff up. I'm gonna do that now. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in a future video. Bye.